All right, everyone. Hello again. Now I'm going to make some beautiful roasted country herb butter chicken. Now, since we just got through the wine video, which took about well three four hours to do, and now we're going to do a cooking video of one of my favorite things to cook. Okay, so while that wine video is being created on the computer, we'll do this. Now, here we go. I like to take my butter in the pan. We got it nice, melted up good. And while we do that, we're going to cut in one clove of garlic. Not two, just one. One clove of garlic. <clears throat> I always buy my garlic in bulk. because I like to eat lots of garlic, you know? And who doesn't like garlic, you know what I mean? Quickest, easiest way to get that skin off is you go. And this one wants to be difficult. This is fresh garlic. I haven't had garlic this fresh in a while. Queen clove. Let's do another. You hear it clicking? That's how I know the peel is going to come off easy. Like so? Alright. Well, with this skin from the clove goes to the compost to eat. Okay. Now we're going to dice the garlic. Everybody knows how to dice garlic. So, you don't need to see me do that. Although I am doing it pretty quick. I don't know if you can see that. So, dice my garlic that size. Okay. My butter's starting to boil there so I'm going to turn it down because I don't want the butter to cook I just want it melted get my garlic in there there we go well my garlic's in there nice Give it a stir. A nice stir like that. Beautiful goodness. <coughs> Pardon me. A little bit of salt on the chicken. <coughs> Pepper and with the butter. Now I use parsley, sage, rosemary, and thyme in the butter. Okay? All of that goes in the butter. my sage and 
and we give it a stir. Get a nice good stir like this. Okay. Now we gotta preheat the oven to 400 degrees. While that preheats, we'll let this settle and we'll come back in a minute. Okay, so the oven is preheated 400 degrees. My butter is beautiful. Oh, smells so good. Now, we're going to put all this goodness on the chicken. Some people use paintbrush, basting brush, whatever you use. I don't bother with all of that. I just smear it all over nice with a fork. Just like so. I um, poke some holes in the chicken so the butter can seep through. So good, so nice. Yummy goodness. Smear it all over good. Beautiful flavors on this chicken. And then I'll pop some of the garlic on each piece, just like so. And all that goodness on there. It's going to be so good. <laughs> There we go. There's how she looks. Isn't that beautiful? Now before I put that in the oven, for me right now. I've got to reset it again. There we go. This is what my other camera looks like. Now we're going to put this in the oven. <laughs> that thump means the oven's ready. Right. This is open. <coughs> the skull. <coughs> It's as old as I am. It was made in 1965. 65 year old. And in goes the bird. Now in about an hour, 25 minutes, an hour and 30 minutes, that's going to come out just beautiful. In an hour, I'm going to turn down the heat to 350 and then the chicken will come out and it is going to be just beautiful I'm going to have this with some <coughs> steamed potatoes and broccoli and a nice butter sauce 
Everybody enjoy. Well, here it is. The country style butter herb chicken is done. You listen to how hot that pan is. Wow. You see how big these pieces are? They're huge. This is going to be great. Here's my blue plate special with buttered rice and veggies. This is going to be a scrumptious meal. I'm going to sit and eat. Watch a movie. Bon appetit.